Which way do I go? She stands at the crossroads of two paths, totally unsure of the future. The two choices take her in vastly different directions and she needs to figure out which road is the right one to travel. Normally, this feels easier, but these paths look like they lead to two options that are equally as wonderful. Or is that equally as difficult? She sways, confused, feeling the rising pressure of her decision. The night is almost here and she must get off this road before dark. Looking back and forth at the battered landscape, she calls out to the elements to guide her. Dear universe, sweet guides, help me choose. She struggles to hear the wind. There are no clues to be found in the sand. There is no answer from her intuition except for its growing silence. When the wind finally stirs, it brings with the two crows, and she is reminded of Odin's familiars, who would bring him the bird's eye view of the landscape that they witnessed from above. One crow brings her memories to the surface and pulls her to the east. The other brings her logical thoughts to the surface and pulls her to the west. Feeling stuck, blocked and confused, they remind her that she is the only one who can make this decision. They whisper that whatever she chooses will be the right decision for her. At this time, because that is how the universe works. Message from the Two of Swords Decide. 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 Decide now. The feeling of not knowing? I feel yeah. It's time to make a choice and it may seem like you are between a rock and hard place. Know that the only reason you feel this way right now is because you can't see the bigger picture yet. The Two of Swords is whispering that you must move in one direction or the other. Because the big picture won't arrive until you do. By avoiding this decision you are allowing the landscape to shift around you, without your input or your preference. While outside opinions may be pulling you in two directions, it's time to close your eyes and listen to your internal landscape for the answer. If your intuition is being overly quiet, it's leaving it up to you to trust yourself to make the right decision. If you need some time to think take it, but don't bury your head in the sand. Even in blind as you know the best way forward. When you choose your path, the future will reveal itself, and your intentional movement will help to move things towards a best case scenario. With all of your logic and emotion, intuition and reason have faith that the universe is serving up the right experience for you at this time. Know that you can only do your best using the information that you have so take a committed step in one direction. At the crossroads of duality analysis, and overthinking will just get you buried in the quicksand of a million possible endings, so find peace of mind by trusting your judgment. Questions for the seer, are you stuck between two things that feel equally as difficult or two paths that feel sort of similar? When you write out your pros and your cons, and then at the lenses of wants, needs and nice to haves, what happens? Do you trust yourself when your intuition feels like it's offline? Thank you very much for listening all the way to the end. If you could hit the like button and subscribe, it would be much appreciated and will help my channel to grow. I wish all the best for you in all your endeavors, and for you to have a successful and loving life. Sending you lots of love and light. Till next time. Bye.